Okay, so on to the next skip the line. This one is for Tom Bredesen. So thank you very much for that. I also know that you um, have requested quite a few. So I appreciate that. For anybody who wants to uh, request skip the line reactions, the form opens on a Saturday. There's only a couple of slots um, available and they book up quite quickly. So um, it obviously does come at a price, um, but I will put out a notification to let you guys know when the form is open. It will be open again this Saturday. Uh, we're currently doing the skip the lines for those who have already requested from last week. Um, we're actually dropping them early. They're supposed to be dropping on the weekend. We're dropping them early. You can also just join the Sphere, uh, which is a very small fee per month and you get additional content over there which i drop there daily um and you can join the fable community i mean if you don't want to join the sphere you don't do any of that you can just join the fable community that's completely free and you can engage with myself and the rest of the cucumber squad start a group it works like a social media page it's very 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 cool now roiksop i hope i'm saying that right i think this is a norwegian singer uh, you did tell me that you were going to send me a whole bunch of uh, um, Norwegian um, singers, I think. Um, if you want me featuring Susan Sanfor, the last song you sent me by Susan Fanpaul was just... Wow, that was probably one of the saddest songs I've heard in years. Like that, that was really, really um, um, quite um, stark. Um, but brilliant and important to watch anyway so i really enjoyed that so if you want to watch that you can i dropped it a couple of days ago um but yeah roiksop if you want me featuring susan sand for tom bredison thanks very much man let's uh, rock and roll let's go <coughs> <coughs> this track is building up absolutely beautiful for me look the female vocalists from norway are just something special right i've said this before they are just absolutely incredible this is beautiful 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 this is giving me very much like um kind of like a hybrid between like an enya and an aurora um type uh, thing um it's giving me that kind of feel right i love this kind of thing i love the way the music is building up right so it's like it started with the vocal and it just it went into that that and they just keep adding sounds and adding sounds and adding sounds and building into this right i love that so i'm going to take this back because i really like the way that went where that went like this over here So this is kind of like taking you into a bit of a wonderland, a bit of a wonder. It wants to lift you, it wants to keep you floating for a bit. I like this a lot. I 
I love about specifically when she said when the darkness pulls me in, I am drowning. Like the way that she actually constructed that piece. If you had to be sitting in a dark room and actually listening to this, that's what it feels like. It would feel like, right, when your mind starts running away from you and you start thinking of, you know, the heart, you, you know, your problems and, you know, the, the issues you have and the insecurities you have. It does feel like the darkness is pulling you in. But what she's doing with this over here is uh, she's created that with the instrumentation where you feel feel like you being pulled in by the darkness so it's really really well done wondering if it was static or if it was rain so it was rain it's i like this i love all these natural sounds i love the thunder and the rain and incorporating that into into um a, a track of this of this kind of nature right um because it's one of those tracks that you literally can just put in your ears and you can just lie down at night and god you can be transported man you can go into like a meditational space with this kind of track man love it Listen to that. The 's actual video over here and I'm not entirely sure if it's intentional or if they just did it like that for the sake of doing it like that but because of the song that sounds so incredibly meditational right to a certain degree right obviously it, it does have some sort of story behind it it does have a story of insecurity this is what I'm pretty much getting from the majority of this is just insecurities right and um, being aware to those insecurities and um, actually taking cognizance of the the actual feeling of fear that comes with those insecurities, right? Um, and the space in which you feel them. But what I like about the actual video itself is it's it's kind of like nothing's, you, you, you always feel like it, it, you want it to pan out into something, but it doesn't pan out into something. It's just these obscure, abstract colors and shapes, essentially. And when you go into a meditational space, if you do meditate, that is basically the the what you see right the, the 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 foundation of what you of what that med meditational space is is actually focusing on something pretty obscure it's like you know thinking about a a a golden a golden orb right that's expanding or or, or shrinking or a, a light coming from a golden orb that's kind of like what you see in that kind of space and and then from there the deeper you go the more that sort of just elaborates and goes into these weird shapes and colors and you know your your mind really takes you into into these crazy sort of like uh, anomaly spaces essentially and this is kind of like what this feels like right the, 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 just watching this over here it kind of feels like I'm in that meditational space listening to this. So I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody. Maybe that's just a me thing. I don't know. But anyway, that is what it is. That's what, that's what it is. <laughs> you want 
beautiful song. amazing amazing this is going onto my playlist as of immediately because this is amazing i love pieces of music like this absolutely love pieces of music like this and the way these instrumentations build up and they just add another layer and add another layer and add another layer and it just feels like it just keeps you just in this consistent motion of rising it almost feels like you're just on a cloud of hot air and you just you're just rising right i love that it gives you that feeling and very oh god it's awesome man <laughs> This is such a great piece of music. Oh my god. Oh my god. But I am sensing a theme with these Norwegian singers, right? Very, very sort of like spiritualistic um, in nature, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> The mastering on this was also absolutely brilliant. The actual production value and the sound, the way they mastered this, beautiful, because it really is done well, right? Everything, everything gives you that sense of elevation at all times, right? Beautiful, man. I love that. That's going on my playlist as of right now, and I am going to be going down this rabbit hole. If this is how this music, if this is what Roykops, Royksop is about, if this is... The, the type of genre of music, this type of style, and we 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 down this rabbit hole, man. And it's being added to my to my playlist. I love pieces like this. Absolutely love it. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.